Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Odd Bods playing cards from Jonathan Burton and Art of Play. All right, so what are the Odd Bod cards? Uh, well, a long time ago, back in 2012, there was a first edition of this deck. Uh, it was released from the Folio Society. Now, the Folio Society, what they are is they're a privately owned London-based publisher founded by Charles Ed in 1947, and it incorporated back in 1971. What it does is it produces illustrated hardback editions of classic fiction and non-fiction books, poetry, and children's titles. And so they had released a deck of cards that just had all these really beautiful hand-drawn images that look like, you know, old illustrations from children's books. And so this now is the second edition being released from Art of Play. This new deck features an all-new back design, gold foil embossed box, each playing card, again, like I said, hand illustrated by Jonathan Burton, and it is just stunning from one end of the deck to the other. Every single image is uh, an oddity, it's quirky. Uh, odd bods are a, a really interesting deck of cards. I'll try my best to describe this deck, but I mean, you can look at it and see what it, what it looks like. It says odd bods across the top and there's some sort of astronaut joker flying on a spade pip. You have this red banner that's going all the way around the deck. And, and the words on here, they're embossed and they're all done in gold foil. This side says Odd Bods Playing Cards. The top is just a bunch of uh, scroll work and design. This side says Jonathan Burton and Art of Play and the bottom has some ad copy about Art of Play. The back design is a picture of the back design amidst the backdrop of the design. There's no tuck seal on the deck of cards, and I like that. And then on the back of that, there's a quote from Jules Verne. It says, everything is possible for an eccentric. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their casino grade stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. All right, so if you want to know how these cards feel and how they handle, uh, when you measure them out with the caliper, uh, you get a measurement of 3.00, which is right on the edge uh, of what USPCC considers to be a casino grade thickness. Um, they're about the same thickness as the Transformation deck. Uh, if you have White Lions, if you've got the Woodlands deck, um, if you've got the Deception deck, they're about the same thickness as that and they will handle like those cards. Back design is certainly made to look like a Rider 808 back, um, but instead of just the Rider in the center, uh, you know, he's wearing that little Space Band helmet, he's like circus figures that are balanced on either side of him. Then you have all the scroll work and all the vine work uh, all around, plus you have the prop, prop propeller in the center, but then if you notice, there's all kinds of other little objects like a flower, and a top hat, and a banana, and you know, a, t a balloon, and stars. It's just full of whimsy. With this deck, you will get two advertisement cards, one for Art of Play and one for Jonathan Burton. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers. Um, one will be a writer on the back of what looks like to be a hyena, <laughs> and then the other one will be a woman riding on top of a monkey, and she's being shot at by arrows. Really, to talk about the cards in this deck, um, it's hard to group them because you can't just say, well, here's the aces, or here's the pips, or here's the courts, because they're all uh, uniquely individual. They're all completely hand-drawn. So if you go through the cards, you'll notice that the pips, um, each one of them looks a little different than the next. They're not uh, a two-way design. The pips move around the, the deck, they change positions. And then the court cards, um, like I said, they all look like characters that were drawn from old vintage uh, children's books. Um, you know, like Dick and Jane and, and, and C. And Dick Run and all those kind of books. But oddly strange. I mean, there's the astronaut helmet on some of them. Uh, one lady's wearing a snail. The aces are all like people wearing ace costumes. One guy's got um, a you know, cowboy hat with bullhorn sticking out of it. One lady's got a beehive on her head. Uh, the astronaut helmet <laughs> plays um, throughout, but then on some of the pips, then you also have the pips wearing top hats or p the pips are carrying balloons. So it is a very odd bod deck. All right, so that is my review for the odd bod playing cards from Jonathan Burton and Art of Play. As always, I want to thank rareplayingcards.com for providing these decks for me so that I could do these reviews for you. And if you would like to find these decks or any others, please visit rareplayingcards.com. Thanks. Bye.